Hello, so in this tutorial we're going to show you how to download PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory and how to integrate Active Directory with both PDQs. So first if you go to Google and search for a PDQ Deploy or a PDQ Deploy Download um, and go to the Downloads page of PDQ. So first, why do we need PDQ Deploy or what do we use it for? Um, so in, in case you have an institution or an environment where you have tens of PCs, even hundreds and thousands of machines where you need to install applications remotely, uh, uninstall applications, deploy scripts, uh, schedule the installations, then PDQ is the perfect solution for you. Okay, so um, talking about PDQ, the first thing, uh, as you can see, we have a 14 days or two weeks trial of PDQ deploy and inventory. It's the same license. And to start with, uh, we can try to download the trial version first. If you have an account uh, on PDQ, you can use it or you can register or continue with the Google account or the Microsoft, Microsoft account. Uh, in my case, I'm using my personal um, Gmail account and let me proceed to register my account. So accept the cookies and input the first name, uh, last name and the organization and click on continue. Okay. Uh, there's an optional page where you can select your current role, which is uh, IT admin in my case. Uh, you can state the number of admins, the number of machines managed in your institution and in the industry, which is education in this case, in my case. So after registering, I'll see the products page that are mapped to my account and the licenses that we have. And it shows that the, the license expires in two weeks from the date of downloading. Uh, we have the PDQ Deploy Installer and PDQ Inventor Installer with both trial license keys. So I'm going to start with the PDQ Deploy Installer. I'm going to fast forward it. And I'm going to run the PDQ Deploy Installer. Okay, so preparing. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes. Here it is. So next, accept the license agreement. Um, the location and install it's quite fast so as you can see so uh, let me wait and mainly that's it so I'm gonna launch the PDQ deploy finish okay so that's it first the uh, select next oh, we can have the free mode or the license mode the free mode we have limited access to the software in the uh, licensed one, I can use the uh, trial license and I can copy the key and paste it in this window for me to use it for two weeks. So that's it. It is active for two weeks from now. And here we can select uh, to have to, uh, the installation on a central server or we have a dedicated server for PDQ for the database uh, that is running uh, our PDQ or we can have it as a local installation which is the case here where my machine is a part of the Active Directory okay so here's how to integrate it with Active Directory we select the domain name and where we have an admin username and password so we have the privilege to scan the Active Directory and select the machines what to install on the machines that we have so that's it you will see in other videos how to use PDQ Deploy. So here you can see um, the trial that's active for two weeks as said. Uh, and if we have purchased the software at any time, we can uh, select the license file or paste the license key that we have. Okay. So again, as said, I will see later on in other videos how to create the package on PDQ Deploy. Uh, and deploy the packages on the clients that we have, how we can use the package library, use the built-in software that we have in PDQ uh, to install applications as said, or even to uninstall applications from the clients that we have on the Active Directory. So um, mainly that's it for the installation of PDQ and setting it up. Okay, so going back to the page where we have the PDQ inventory. So I'm gonna run the installer to download it first and run it uh, later on. So uh, why do we use PDQ Inventory and what's the difference between PDQ Deploy and PDQ Inventory? 
the inventory it's used to collect data from the machines that are on the active directory okay so if we have a set of machines we can collect info uh, for these machines like what are the missing updates you can create collections where we can have a set of machines that need to be updated and run these updates we can scan the hardware if there is any missing uh, updates for the drivers for example or even the software or, or the applications uh, part so mainly that's it in a nutshell so after downloading it let me try to run the installer to see the interface of the uh, pdq inventory so let's wait a while so that's it um next accept the license agreement for the pdq inventory select the location and install it as said this machine is part of the active directory so we need to select the local installation instead of server or client uh, based so select next i'm gonna use the license the trial license that we have so let me go back uh, copy the license key of pdq inventory and paste it and that's it for us. so next so as I said, we're going to use the local uh, installation on this machine. Uh, it will detect the domain of the Active Directory. So I'm going to input my admin username and password. So we can scan the Active Directory to see what machines are there uh, on the Active Directory. So that that's it. So this is the interface. Uh, it's going to take some time to scan the whole the Active Directory. Uh, but this is an interface where we can see all the PCs later on with all the information on every single PC using PDQ inventory. So that's it in a nutshell where we went over uh, PDQ deploy and PDQ inventory download and installation. Uh, thank you all for your time and thank you for watching.